Hey everybody, today I've got a bucket of ice because I want to show you and explain why and how ice melt works. So I live in Canada, which means that for most of the year, well, it seems like most of the year, we live with cold weather almost continuously, which means we need to find creative ways to melt the ice and get rid of the snow that plagues our existence for eight months of the year. Let's do the experiment first. I'll show you the effects of normal ice melting and ice with some ice melt mixed in with it. And then we'll go into the whys and hows they work. Let's do this. All right, let's put in a bunch of ice in here. So ice freezes at zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Which means if there's any liquid water, it can only be above that temperature. Otherwise, it freezes. So we'll put one of these as our control. And the other one, we're going to put in some ice melt and we'll go over what's inside this ice melt shortly. Okay, so now this has been approximately uh, seven minutes-ish, and as you can see, there is virtually no melting at all in this beaker full of ice, but the one with the ice melt has liquid all the way up to here. So let's check the temperature of these. All right, so in here, uh, let's just try and get a good feel for it. This is reading at just a little bit below zero because the ice was in the freezer for a little bit. So if I were to find this liquid water down at the bottom, that would be at just about zero degrees Celsius, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, 1.9 degrees Celsius. Now, if I were to move this over here and stick it right down into that liquid, remember liquid water cannot be at lower than zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, but now, this is showing at negative 10.2 degrees Celsius, and it's still dropping. Negative 10.7 degrees Celsius, and it's liquid. Why does that work? Okay, so how on earth does this work? This is causing, like this is freezing cold and there's frost showing up on the outside of my beaker. Why? Well, it is not actually melting the ice. It's depressing the freezing point of water. It's freezing point depression is what the actual term is for what we're seeing here. So water freezes at zero degrees Celsius, 32 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. But if you were to mix sodium chloride or any other type of salt with water, that actually lowers the freezing temperature of water. So by mixing salt with ice, you're creating a compound that has a significantly lower freezing temperature. So why does this work? Well, when let's take a look at sodium chloride, so just natural salt as a basis. So when salt hits water, it breaks up into two different ions, sodium and chloride, and those ions kind of get in the way of the ice structures from freezing together, because typically H2O, water, will crystallize into a very stable structure. But that stable structure gets inhibited by those ions that are just kind of getting in the way and being super annoying. So it makes it harder for the water to freeze with the presence of sodium chloride. Now, not just sodium chloride. This is our heavy duty Canadian ice melt. And this is a mixture of sodium chloride, calcium chloride, and potassium chloride. And each of those has a different effect and lowers the freezing temperature of water even lower. In fact, this is rated to negative 31 degrees Celsius or negative 24 degrees Fahrenheit. That's really, really cold. So when you see ice melting on your driveway in the winter and it's not above zero, that's because of ice melt. It's not warming the temperature, it's decreasing the freezing point of 
water. It's very cool, and I hope this has helped you understand why ice melts work. I'm Jonathan Allers for Destructive Creativity. Bye!